dear students today we will discuss about instantaneous description of turing machine in previous classes we discussed about what is meant by turing machine and how we are going to represent turing machine and we discussed with one example also so indirectly in previous class itself we discussed about instantaneous description so now officially we are going to discuss what is meant by id means instantaneous description of turing machine so already we people know that turing machine is having one advantage of using external memory and the by default it is a deterministic so the difference between finite automata and turing machine is turing machine contains the memory external memory and finite automata doesn't have so when you are going to define any id of turing machine generally mostly it is having some three things at instance of time means at particular time so when transaction is going on means when machine is moving from one state to another state that particular time we called it as instance of time so what we are having is it contains all the cells of the tape whatever the tape contains it contain all the things it will observing all the things so from the rightmost cell up to at least the last cell containing a non blank symbol and containing all the cells up to the cell being scanned so it is observing the total tape which we contained in turing machine so this input tape contain all the symbols all the symbols which is possible to take it as a input and it is observing the non blank symbols also non blank symbols are nothing but the cells which contain some data some symbols and this turing machine this instance id is containing the currently being scanned by the read write head the current cell the current cell symbol which is going to read or which is going to write by head is also comes under id so generally and the state of the machine so the instantaneous description of the turing machine is containing all the contents all the contents of tape input tape which we are having and the current cell information so and current so which symbol which which symbol we are going to read is also having and the state also so which state we are moving and now from which state we are moving from uh, state 1 to state 2 so officially this instantaneous description is it is in the form it is in this form from x1 x2 and so on xi minus 1 q xi xi plus 1 and so on xn so this is left part q is separate and this is right part so here q is nothing but state of the turing machine the present state of the turing machine on which state we are having so now on which state machine is running and generally the tape head is scanning the ith symbol from the left side okay and x1 x2 and so on xn is the portion of the tape between the leftmost and rightmost non blanks so it is scanning it is scanning from x1 to ith symbol x1 to xi and x1 to xn is the portion of the tape so this is which we are going to this is which we are going to read and which are scanning already in previous class we said that the head is moving from left to right or right to left also it will scan every symbol from input tape so if you got required symbol then it will read it and it will process it when i observe some example we will observe some examples how it is going to define 
ID of Turing machine. So, generally the move will be represented in this form and move will be represented with this symbol. So, we use this symbol to designate a move of Turing machine M from one ID to another. For example, if dollar sorry if delta of q comma xi so q is the state and xi is the input which we are going to provide equal to p comma y comma l then so means we are moving to p state and i am replacing that element with y and i am moving left side so xi element is there na that i am going to replace with y and i am moving left side so that will be prescribed like this so x1 x2 and so on xi minus 1 q q xi xi plus 1 and so on xn so moves to moves to x1 x2 and so on xi minus 2 p minus 2 y because left left move so left move it means going left side so p xi minus 1 y xi plus 1 and so on so here y you observed y so means it is replacing it is replacing x i with y. x i th element is there. If I found x i th element, that will be replaced with y and it is moving left side. So, if you are having the statement like this, if dollar, so delta of q comma x i is there, so equal to p comma y comma r means we are moving to right hand side. So, there is a chance to get 3, either moving left side, either moving right side or halt, h will be represented. So, if you are moving right hand side, it will be like this. It will be like this x1, x2 and so on xi minus 1, y, p. So, here observe that p is, here observe that p is before x minus 1. Here, then after y is there. Here, y will come there, then after p will come, then x i plus 1 is there. So, right hand move, right hand move side, moves, we are moving to right hand side, we are moving to right side. So, in this we are moving to left side. So, head will move, there is a possibility to move left and right also. So, now we will go with one example, how to describe ID to Turing machine, means instantaneous description. Here, we designed one Turing machine to find out the regular uh, to recognize the language a to the power of n, b to the power of n, c to the power of n. So, we design one Turing machine to construct to accept the language a to the power of n, b to the power of n, c to the power of n. Means number of a's, same number of a should be followed by same number of b's and followed by same number of c's. So, here, I am not discussing more about that one. So, example, just to go through it and try to recognize. So, if you recognize it, it is okay. Otherwise, in later on classes, we discuss. So, anyhow, initially, I will start, uh, start with that one. So, here, I am going to start from So, I am going to start from Juliet cell. So, if I found A, if I found A, if I found A, then what I am doing? I am replacing with X. If I found A, I am replacing with X and moving right hand side. That will describe ID. Here, this is the input. This is the input. This, this is a state 0, I am having at state 0. So, this is the input which I am getting A, A, B, B, C, C. So, now I am at state 0. So, I am getting input is A. I am getting, now the tape symbol will be like this. A, A, B, B, C. Actually, it is not the valid string. It is not the valid string. Why? Because should contain number of here, should contain equal number of B's and equal number of C's. But here C is single one. 
So you don't bother about that one whether it is accepting or not. Just you need to check it whether it is accepting or not. If it is accepting, then okay. Otherwise, not okay. So, so what I am doing here. So if I found a, just I am replacing a with x and moving right side. So I did that one. Okay, x and I am moving to state one. I am moving to state one, and next I am having a, b, b, c. So now I am in state one. Now I am in state one. So right side I am moving. Right side I am moving. So here what I am doing is if I found a, if I found a, and the element is also a. Just I am moving to right side. Just I am skipping a. I am skipping a. That's all. So it will read second one. This is also I skipped. Now I am having b. So here what I am doing is just I am skipping. Just I am skipping a. I am skipping. Now in state one only. B B C C is there. If I found B, the next one is B. If I found B, if I found B, what I am doing? I am replacing with Y. I am replacing with Y and moving to right side. So the next element is B. Next element is B. What I am doing? I am replacing with Y and moving to next state. Second state I am moving. So here I represented second state. So <clears throat> in second state again, if I found B. I am keeping as it is Lee and moving right side. So this is B next element. Just I am what I am doing. I am moving right side. And next right side I am having C. If I am having C, if I am having C, so just wait here. We have another C also. Okay, just I design like that. So if I'm having C, just what I'm doing? If I'm having C, I'm replacing with Z. I'm replacing with Z. I'm moving left side. I'm moving left side. So left side I'm moving. So means will back. I will back. So what I'm doing? If I'm having left side Y. I will keeping a as it is Lee. If I having b, I am keeping b as it is Lee. If I having y, then I am keeping y as it is Lee. If I am having z, just I am keeping z as it is Lee. So yeah, left side I am moving b is there. Left side I am moving b is there. Just I am keeping as it is Lee. Again left side I am moving y is there. Left side I am moving y is there. So what I am doing? Just I am keeping y and moving left side. So I am having a, just I am keeping as it is. I am having a, just I am keeping as it is. Okay. So next I am having x. Next I am having x. So if I am having x, if I am having x, so I am keeping x as it is. Moving right and moving to moving right, and I will be in state zero. So what I am doing? If I am having x. Just I'm moving, keeping x as it is, Lee, and I will be in state zero and moving right side. So here I found x. Okay, I'm moving right side. What is the next element? A is there. So again, repeat the same. If I found a, just I'm replacing with x and replacing with x and moving to right side. So if I'm having a, what I'm doing? I'm replacing with x and moving right side. So one will be come here. Again, what I'm having here y is there. So when I'm having y, I'm keeping y as it is. I'm moving right side. So right side here. What I'm having b. If I'm having b, I'm replacing with y. I'm replacing with y and moving right side. So if I'm having b, if I'm having b, just I'm replacing with y, and second state I'm moving, and Will come to second state. So this is a ID for that one. So now I am in second state. So 
what is the next element c if i am having b just i am keeping b but i don't have so i am having c so what i am doing i am replacing with z c will be replacing with z so c will be replacing with z okay and moving left side so this is the statement i am moving left side so when i am moving left side what is the next element again it is z only so z i am keeping z y i am keeping y b i am keeping left side and everything i am keeping as it is so just i am back 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 will go so if i found x here i found x if i found x what i am doing just i am going to right side i am going to right side and will be in zeroth cell so observe this one so if i found y x what i am doing just i am moving right side i am moving x here what is the next element y is there if i am y y what i am doing i will be here only if i am having y i will be here only so y but i will i am here only but i am zero cell only next what i am having moving right side so right side right side means again i am getting back so what we are having z so if z is there then i am going to fourth cell i am going to fourth cell i am going to fourth cell so here in fourth state again if i found z i will be there only z is there next z also i will be there only and then after finally so cap symbol means blank symbol is there if i found blank if i found blank then what i am doing just i am moving to halt just i am moving to halt so this is instantaneous description so just you need to take one input and you need to represent that so this is a starting symbol sorry the starting state so so the input string is a a b b c c a a b b c c so the first id i am going to represent the starting symbol and input so zero is starting symbol and i am providing input so from input zero uh, input uh, sorry zero state if a input is a what i am doing if input is a what i am doing i am replacing with x and moving right side that was i represented so first element is replaced with x and next one is state so it will come this side state will come this side and remaining input again the same thing will follow for all the things finally it reached to halt finally it reached to halt so here we consider as a final state also okay so this is instantaneous description for turing machine so hope you understood the topic so just to go through that one just to go through that one so these all are states these all are states and before things that already we read the data and after things that till it is pending to read okay before state indicates already we read the data after after state it indicates going going to read it okay so that's we defined here so this one which is already read state going to read which we going to read so either left or right direction same thing is there so this is about instantaneous description so and next class we discuss about remaining topics okay thank you